News Press Now Sports Zone, brought to you by Price Chopper. Welcome into Sports Zone, week seven of high school football. Like I said, it's going really, really it's fast. It's going by really fast. I can't believe it, but you know. Well, I had to double check before we went out. I was like, is it week six, week seven? Mm-hmm. Wow, I can't seven. believe it. I know. These, these Fridays just come up on you so fast. <laughs> they do. Uh, I'll tell you what, we spent a lot of time over the bridge in Kansas, at least for this past week. And lately, it's been that way because we've been so impressed with what Riverside has shown us. And now we get a real treat because we get to see what Troy has to offer. We hadn't been to one of their games yet. And that's where we take us as our game of the week between these two schools. Yeah, how about we just hop into the highlights I, and we can talk about it later. Let's go ahead time. and jump. Let's, let's go ahead. It. Game of the week out at Troy High School. As a visiting Riverside Cyclones look to pick up their first in this series since 2022. Troy looking to make it three straight. Here we are at Troy High School. Ten minutes have gone by and there is no score yet. But check how long Gannon Bow keeps his play alive. We have a timer on him. It's still going. A lot of pass rush. It's still going. It's still going. There we go. Nine seconds. And he does complete the pass to keep the drive alive. Well, same drive, 13 yards out. Bogan has to use his legs to keep the play alive. He cuts back to the middle of the field where there is nothing but green grass. He almost slipped for the senior. He takes it in for a touchdown. Troy led 6-0 to zero after a failed two-point conversion. Let's go to the second quarter. Riverside with the ball. Still 6-0 with the Trojans leading. Ball looks like it was intercepted. Ooh. But Chase Hewins, look at that. He comes up with the spectacular catch and the drive continues. Beckham Griffin knows where he wants to go. He throws up to Tyzel Harrington. You talk to him a lot. That's right. For the touchdown grab. Riverside led 7-6 after the extra point. But here comes the Cyclone defense. Gavin Schoenfelder gets off his block and gets the huge sack on Bo there and then before halftime the Trojans trying to go deep Bo has to roll out he was doing it all night sets his feet and chucks it down the field but Keegan Hughes steps in front of the interception Troy did lead 7-6 at halftime but the Troy Trojans will suffer their first loss to Riverside in two years as the Cyclones come in and get the 14-12 to 